we're playing snooker with atoms. I mean, that's what we're doing. And behind me, we have a big, massive laser. I am Dr. Clara Barker, and I am a thin film material scientist and engineer. I work at Oxford University, and I manage the Centre for Applied Superconductivity. So this is a superconducting demonstrator. And superconductors, when they go below a certain temperature, they um, trap magnetic fields and have zero electrical resistance. So when I cool this down and put it on top, it'll just levitate on top of the magnetic track and move around. There are um, magnetic levitation trains, maglev trains, where they actually use similar sort of technology to this. The trains float or lock above the train track and so travel above the train track. This is being done on a scale that you can move people, which is pretty cool. Knowing that we're always on the edge of a breakthrough, we're always on the edge of fixing something or coming up with something new. And just the idea that we might make that breakthrough is just super, super exciting. So I always had sort of the idea of going into engineering or science, but it took me a while to put the dots together. I was always trying to fit a particular mold, try and fit the stereotype that we saw, and that meant hiding a lot of who I was. You have this preconception of who a scientist is, and it turns out that, you know, I've been in science a long time, and there is a broad range of people that are scientists. I'd say that science isn't made up of the sort of people that you think it's made up of. So my career was a very odd one. Um, I'll be honest, I grew up on a council estate in North Manchester, so no one went to university where I went to school. I was, I was good at school and my mum saw that, but I did have a lot of issues growing up in the 80s and 90s. We didn't know about being LGBT and things like that. We didn't talk about it, so I had a lot of trouble with my mental health. So I actually um, dropped out of school before I completed my air levels and spent a few years doing different jobs. In my spare time, I was doing things like building computers or fixing equipment. And so someone said, well, why don't you do an engineering degree? And it's like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Um, and so since then, I've continued to be in science. Engineering and science are improving. We've still got a long way to go when it comes to people with disabilities or BAME people or LGBTQ people. And the big thing with engineering is ingenuity. We want new ideas. If we're just doing the same thing over and over again, things aren't going to be changing that much. So we want fresh ideas. But we are, we are improving, at least they are seeing different people these days. And so more people can aspire to be an engineer.